Hey, Doug, I'm sorry for Doc Sports and back with a free pick for you on Tuesday because today is two for Tuesday with uh, my selections, but I got a free pick yesterday. Had one on the board, but uh, had a couple long shots that came in uh, that kind of disrupted the whole thing. Uh, so just, just had one on the board, but not officially a winner. Still, 29 uh, winners in our last 40 free picks. That's uh, just under 75%. So doing quite well with that and try and continue today. Hey, as I said, today is two for Tuesday. I got two best bets on the docket uh, yesterday. Boy, the, uh, yesterday was the quintessential example of the old blues song. If I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. Is that I took a horse to uh, place and he finished third, beat out by an 81 to 1 long shot. So, hey, that's horse racing. You're going to get plenty of that. And uh, before I forget, one thing I'd like to, uh, if anybody would like to comment on this, uh, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm heading out to, Wen to Wendy's. Uh, if anybody's had Wendy's breakfast, I'm just curious, uh, had my first, I'm going to have my first Baconator breakfast, so we're going to give that a shot here. They got a got a, a nice deal going on. I'm not being sponsored by Wendy's. I'm just, just asking a question, just, just seeing what you people think about the, or if you like the other two, what if they have a... Uh, kind of a croissant deal, I think, too, with uh, eggs and sausage and a chicken sandwich, which just flies over my head. Chicken for breakfast, but that's that's another story for another day. So if you have any comments about the Wendy's Baconator or Wendy's Breakfast, let me know. I'm just curious to what you're thinking about it. All right, let's get to today's free pick. We're going to go to Lone Star for the eighth race at 6.15. It's going to be seven furlongs on the dirt on this one. Uh, Hal Shakim, uh, uh, or Shamka, uh, however you say that exactly, is, is the favorite. Uh, and is trained by Mr. S. Mewson, who's the best trainer at Lone Star this meet. And he's been smoking hot of lately. And he has the and has the top jockey also at Lone Star in uh, Mr. Or in S. Elliott. Uh, he got, got some real excellent, consistent speed numbers, which look great. And it's a real threat to win the race. I'm just not going to go there, okay? Because if every favorite won, okay, we'd all be millionaires, okay, when it comes to horse racing. So instead, I'm going to go with wishful quality, a little wishful thinking with wishful quality. Now, wishful quality has the uh, another qu high quality rider of his own in R. Vasquez and has comparable speed ratings uh, to the, the favorite. Uh, it, in the last two races in particular. So I think it's got a real shot there. And for third, we're going to go with, I believe it's Dolce Ride, who has similar, not as good, but similar speed ratings as to the, the front two. So we're going to go a 6-5-1 on this particular race at Lone Star, the eighth race at Lone Star. Let's see if we can bring home some more winners. I'm going to try and bring home, for those of you that would like to purchase my selections at Doc Sports at the Doug Upstone page, do the same with a couple of winners today. I've been so close lately, uh, even in defeat, uh, that I think I'm just literally inches away from just getting red hot once again. So this is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. Until next time, I'm out.